All right, today I'm going to look at a Meridian brand name, uh, 8 watt, 650 lumen light fixture. Uh, as you can see there, I think this has some kind of proprietary socket or something. I don't even have a lamp for it. It was just in a box. So I figured I'd take a look at it. Uh, so let's bring this in. Turn it this way, I suppose. And hmm, took a second to turn on. Okay, it says it's eight watts. Looks like it's eight watts. Power factor 0.61 and 0.1 amp. 0.11. So it's not pulling a whole lot. Okay. Off. All right. So I pull it apart. I guess it's got a couple of screws in the top. Well, looks like black pan-headed screws. Diffuser looks attached to the top part. Uh, got, as you can see in there, looks like eight in series. Yeah, eight in series, and then two rows in parallel. Um, and a giant heat sink with a hole through the middle, which is interesting. And that seems kind of loose. Uh, under, yeah, maybe I should just hook it up and see what the LEDs are doing. Super bright. Okay. <laughs> yeah, means my uh, looks like three volts drop over each one. Of the way then okay so like I said the bottom has this must be a proprietary socket I'm not sure but it's like spins let's see I guess when you put it in the socket angle at 90 degrees or, or I mean 360 degrees uh, a couple screws in the bottom those are Countersunk. Okay. So then it has a retaining piece of plastic that holds that on there. Which looks like it's a tiny little board. And then a couple more screws. Actually, and this heat sink didn't feel hot at all, so I'm pretty sure. And it's not even touching the where the LEDs are. So those are two smaller silver panhead screws. So you got three different types of screws. 
that pipe wasn't necessary. Okay. So in there, then we have this giant extruded, probably, heat sink. And you got the driver sitting in there, shrink wrapped. And, okay. <laughs> and that's supposed to be thermal paste or something. There's barely any on there. This is like just sitting in there so loosely. I doubt it was, this probably isn't even doing anything. Okay, so there's the driver all wrapped up inside. Had insulation, I guess, keeping it away from there. All right, so that's a couple of capacitors, diode, no, probably diodes for a bridge rectifier. That's a lot of stuff. Let's see if I can get a good view there, view on the side. Okay, so then I'll just uh, put a diagram together. Let's so get that in there. Okay, diagram. All right, here's the diagram. So we've got a uh, rectifier, a switched mode power supply, and the load. Uh, over here we have surface mount diodes, uh, smoothing capacitor, and in the switched mode power supply area we've got a couple of resistors, capacitor. Uh, this voltage here is powering the U1, which is a uh, called a chopper. Uh, this is what was written on it, but I could not find that anywhere for a data sheet. Uh, it also is sensing uh, through a feedback winding on the transformer uh, what's going on, and also sensing voltage here uh, before it goes into a MOSFET as well as this is the gate controlling the gate of the MOSFET um, F1 right there. Uh, you got a primary winding and a secondary winding and then from that we go through a diode got another capacitor to smooth it out and then you have uh, two parallel sets of LEDs, eight each, eight in series. Okay, when I was testing the voltages, uh, while this is powered on at the output of the rectifier, we had 153 volts DC, and here at the end, uh, over the LEDs, we had 24.8. Uh, I also was uh, hooked up an O-scope uh, just between a couple areas just to see what was going on. Uh, so uh, you can see I had channel one here, channel two here, and I'll throw a image up on the screen of what that looked like. Uh, then the second one was on the primary winding between here and here. Another, I might have a couple images, uh, different divisions. Uh, and then for the feedback winding between here and here couple more images and the secondary winding between this point and this point and probably a couple of images there uh, obviously it's meant to pulsate this on and off to get you exactly at your voltage that you need and the current that you need to drive these properly um, other than that uh, let's see what else. 
And I think that's about it. Uh, I think the main thing to pull away from this design is this bizarre heat sink that the uh, <laughs> this thing barely fits in. It was really touching. So that's really odd that it wasn't properly put together. And other than that, uh, I'll have all the descriptions of all these items, uh, except for that one because I couldn't find a data sheet, uh, in the description below. Uh, that's it. Thanks.